In this video, we are working with our AIY vision kit to identify certain objects. So let's start with an apple. Granny Smith. Bananas. All right, it identified the bananas. So I've got some 3D objects that we'll be uh, trying out here. And last but not least, my cat. Smile. Yep, it knows it's a Siamese cat. Very impressive. In this video, we are going to use the image classifier on our AIY vision kit. If you missed my previous video where I assembled the vision kit, please go watch that first. I'll link to it below. And now we're ready to move on to the next part of our project. Last week, we got Joy Detector working. Today, we're gonna get image classifier working. So the first thing we need to do to get the image classifier working or really any other app on this device working is we need to launch that program. The way they set up this vision kit is on boot with the SD card. They preloaded it to always launch into the joy detector and we demoed that last week. We, there is another script, another program that we can launch on here that has something called image classifier. And what it will do is it will identify objects you put in front of the camera. Uh, so in order to launch that image, we need to be able to get into that Raspberry Pi. We need to go, how do we do that? Uh, we do that with a protocol that we call SSH. Uh, so look that up. I'm not going to go into SSH on here. There are really detailed instructions on it. What I am going to show you is an, they have created an app to make it easier for us to SSH into this device. You'll need everything from the previous video. Plus, in this video, you'll also need a laptop of some kind or a computer of some kind, and you'll need your mobile device to launch the app. Let's get started. So I have my screen record going. I'm gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna search for the Google AIY app. And here it is. I'm going to install that app. And it has installed, so I'll hit open. And you do need a Wi-Fi network uh, in order to do this. So I'm gonna get started. And then you're, I'm gonna go into Vision Kit because that's the one I have. And it's gonna walk me through the instructions here First, I'm going to open the box again so that we can get to this button right here. There's a specific button that we need to press to know that it's in pairing mode. In order to do that, we need to plug it in again. So let's do that right now. So this is the plug I used in the previous video and the, the power is on the right side. We're gonna wait for our Raspberry Pi Zero to boot up and then we can move on to the next step. I heard the beep. I know it's ready now. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to turn on pairing mode, which is holding down this button here and waiting five seconds and the LED right next to the button will light up. Hopefully you can see that the green LED is now flashing and it's ready to go into pairing mode. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to allow access. Ah, and it found it, Vision 7355. I'm gonna select my kit here. Now it's gonna pair it up. And now I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi network. And now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna hit continue. And it gives me my IP address. That is what I need for the next step of this project. And I'm gonna hit done. And you see the IP address is now in my app. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is get out my computer. I'm gonna go into screen share mode where you'll see me SSH right into this device and then we will launch the object identifier. I'm now on Chrome. I'm following the instructions on the web here and I've, I've got my IP address. Now I'm going to the secure shell extension on my computer and I'm going to install a little uh, extension on my Chrome here. So I'm going to hit add to Chrome and yes, I want to add this extension and it has been added to my Chrome. Excellent, it's right here. And we're going back to our vision kit. We've got our extension dialog right here. But first I need to type in pi at connection dialog. So pi at and our IP address. And I'm going to hit enter, connect. I'm gonna allow 
this. It says, are you sure I want to continue? Yes. And the password, the default password is Raspberry. And I'm in. All right, so I'm in. In this step, I've got my laptop out. You saw me set up the SSH, the Chrome extension, and now I have um, closed the box of my AIY Vision Kit. And while we were assembling it, I don't know if you noticed this, but there is a tripod mount right on the bottom here. I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna get out my little miniature tripod here. And we're, this is gonna be key in our image classification project here. So we're back to screen recording. And now you see um, I have logged in and now I'm first thing I need to do is pseudo system C CTL to stop the joy detection demo. Now as explained earlier this is a default program that runs straight out of the box when you first launch it. So now we've got to stop it so that we can run our image classifier. So we've stopped it so I can check this out. Okay it doesn't work anymore. All right so now now we can launch the new program. So first thing we need to do is we need to CD, change directories into the directory that has all of our samples on it. There are a few different projects that you can do with this kit. Today we are focused on image classification. So let's get that started here. And I see the image classification.py program on here and I am going to try out that demo. So I'm gonna type in dot forward slash image classification.py oh, here we are all right it's it started i did have to use the copy paste uh, i must have typoed somewhere something somewhere i'm going to move over the computer you'll see everything on the screen here and i'm going to start uh, just trying out some objects here now what i'm doing to to make it easier for the camera to see my items is i've gotten out this white box here that will hopefully that will help let's start this image classification with an apple that seems like a really popular thing to try right here so let's see point the camera at that and it says it's 90 percent sure it's a granny smith well i don't know about that but or a pomegranate one percent chance it's a pomegranate okay so it thinks it's a granny smith okay granny smith apple let's let's see how it does with the golden delicious Okay, it still thinks it's a Granny Smith apple. Okay, I don't know why they just didn't program it. Well, okay. Next, let's try bananas. Wow, it's 100% sure it's a banana. All right, well, that was awesome. Okay, that's really good. Let's try a pear now. It's between a Granny Smith and a lemon. Let's see, maybe if I change it a little bit here. Lemon or a tennis ball now, all right. And I'm trying to, you know, move it around, see if that helps it figure out what it is. Okay, it's leaning toward lemon now. All right, not a lemon, it's a, it's a pear. So now if you just point it toward the white box, it thinks it's a dishwasher. All right, hey, that's not bad. All right, let's continue with this uh, test here. Let's continue with our demo with a few household items. First, let's start with something, something simple like a pen. Let's see if I can identify a pen. All right, 25%, it might be a syringe. I turn it. Ah, here we go. Fountain pen or a bassoon. Fountain pen or a bassoon. All right, interesting. All right, let's try a pair of scissors. Vacuum cleaner. Unicycle. Punching bag. All right, it's getting a little closer now. Knife or letter opener. All right, not bad. Let's try uh, my pliers here. Corkscrew or a necklace. Corkscrew, can opener. All right, that's not bad. All right, let's try my paint scraper. Plunger, okay, we'll get a better angle on this. Table lamp, okay, turn it around. Pool table, okay, I'm uh, not sure where this is going now. Paper towels, table lamp. All right, let's try a hammer. Hammer, hammer, we got a hammer now, all righty. Now let's try a few of my 3D printed items. I've got a few of them right here. So first, we've got Yoda's head here, plastic bag. Banjo, teapot. Let's try my frog tarantula. I, I guess I guess it could be a tarantula. Wow, it is just it's just going crazy guessing stuff. Okay, let's go for the rabbit here. Candle, doormat. Maybe a side view might be a little better. Ping pong ball, plunger. Let's try my cat now. Oh, it did say Siamese. Siamese cat. It was able to identify my Siamese cat. All right, this thing works. 
Please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye now.